Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into some of the most important previously asked R questions. Basically, I was getting a lot of messages from you guys to make a video on these kind of questions. So I have taken four frequently asked questions from the previous year question paper. So this is the very first question. Here it is asked to consider the following data frame. So a data frame is given. For those who don't know what exactly a data frame is, it is nothing but a data set. It is collection of rows and columns. Here you can see there are three columns, subject, class, and marks. The first question asks us to create a subset. Subset is basically a small part from the entire data set. Now, the part can be made using some conditions or it can be randomly. But let's see what condition is given. Here you can see we have to make a subset of the subject which is less than four. You can see in this particular subject column, there are numbers ranging from one to six. And we have to make a subset of subject which are lesser than four. That means the subject with the values one, two, and three. These three rows will be the final answer for this particular question. Now we have to make it using the subset function and demonstrate the output. So basically we have to write the code script in our language. So first we'll have to construct this particular table in the program. Now for constructing the data set, we have to write a simple script. Here you can see this is the small piece of code which will be used to construct this data frame. Over here you can see that we have declared a variable named data in which we'll store this particular data set. Now whenever we have to create a data frame, we have to use this data.frame function and inside this we'll have to pass on the columns as the list of arguments. Over here, you can see we have three columns in the entire data set. So we'll have three arguments that is subject, class, and marks. Now, since we have to create this entire data from, sc from scratch, so that is why we'll have to also specify what exactly is the list of values that this particular subject column, class column, as well as marks columns include. Now, whenever we have to create a column, we will have to use the C function. C function is nothing but a combined function which is used to create vectors. So over here you can see the subject column has the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, class column has the values 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. And similarly, the marks column has the values 56, 75 and so on. So we just have written it and we have stored it in the concerned variables. This particular small script will create a data frame with this columns as well as it will store it in the variable data. Make a note that the assignment operator is not equal to here. Here it is a reverse arrow. That is the lesser than and a hyphen sign. So I hope this thing is clear. Now just to make sure whether our data set is correct, we'll print the data. So now let's try to execute this particular small script in R compiler. So here I'm using my compiler. It's a simple R compiler. So let's paste the code. Here you can see we have just pasted the same code that we have written and let's run it. So over here, you can see we have our data frame constructed. You can see this values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The initial values are just the row number. You can ignore this. You can see these values. This is the first row. This is the second row. This is the third row. And you can see the subject class and marks are the three columns that are present inside the data frame. So we have to create a subset of subject which is lesser than four. So we have to use subset function. Let me tell you how we can use subset function to create a subset of the given condition. So here in the R compiler, let me paste the small code that we have to write to make this subset. So over here, this particular small statement will create a subset and will store it inside the variable subset underscore data. So make sure this subset function takes two argument. First is the data from which we have to make subset that is stored in the variable data. And then we also have to write the condition that on what basis we have to create this subset. Already the subset condition was given in the question that the subject has to be lesser than four. So we just have written this and we have stored it in the variable subset underscore data. And then we have printed it just run this particular piece of code and let's see. So over here, you can see we have got the correct results. This is the subset 
and inside this subset you can see the subject contains the values 1 2 and 3 you can see these are all less than 4 so hope this particular question is clear now that was only the first part of the question now the second part says that we have to create a subset where the subject column is less than 3 and the class equals to 2 we have to use these square brackets and demonstrate the output so here instead of one condition we have been given two conditions so as you can see this is our data set that we already have created with the help of this particular small code now here you can see we have to create a variable which will store the subset now for creating the subset we have these two conditions that is the subject is less than three and class is equal to two now you can see there is and word used over here that means both these conditions must be true then only that particular record will be a part of the subset so first thing is that the subject has to be lesser than three as well as the class has to be equal to two now for creating this particular subset we have to use the square bracket operator so let's do you want to check out this attractive funny memes then what are you waiting for these are just a glimpse of the memes that i've created on my instagram page you can find the link to my instagram handle in the description box please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes these are not just memes these memes and reels contains technical information here i try to relate memes with the technological concepts so please do appreciate that by watching all those and if you love it please hit the follow button we have the data stored in the data variable and we have to use square bracket now inside this square bracket we can specify the condition the first condition is that the subject is less than three so let's write that now to access the uh, column subject from the data set data we have we can use this particular dollar operator so this dollar can be used to access a particular variable from the data set that is subject so we can write it like this and the condition says that it has to be lesser than three so let's write less than three and then there is one more condition with the help of an and operator so in our language we use this particular operator to denote and operation and then we have to specify the next condition that is the class variable is equal to 2 so again for accessing the class variable we have to use this particular operator and then we have to write the name of the class the class is equal to 2 now whenever we have to compare two entities we have to use double equal to operator to compare and it has to be equal to 2 now remember one thing that inside this square brackets we have to specify the row condition as well as column condition now we are given in the question that the row has to be like this it has to follow these two conditions but we are not given with any condition related to column that is why we'll write a comma and we'll keep this particular space as it is and now let's see whether we are getting the correct results after executing this particular code so let's execute it here you can see the subset that we are getting is this you can see the subject value is 2 which is lesser than 3 yes this particular condition is satisfied as well as the class value is 2 here you can see there was a condition that class has to be equal to 2 so that two things are getting satisfied so i hope this thing is clear now we are done with the very first question i hope the entire doubts are cleared as well as you will be able to solve this kind of questions i have created this particular documentation i'll be providing you it in the description box do check that and also make sure that you have to demonstrate the output that means what exactly this thing will do and uh, by what conditions you are getting the output as this particular sub subset you will also have to explain the significance of and operator and so on so i i hope you will be able to do that